Well, welcome to the show of the two old fogies going ahead and discussing fucking society and the way children and everything over the years have they don't even touch our generation. They don't touch our generation. They 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 they, they want to just go ahead and have pampers put on them and everything else. They just want to have their ass wiped and everything instead of being accountable for their actions and everything else. You know, Roy, I'll tell you what. Welcome you to your show. Uh, what? Yeah, what? Kids, kids these days, I, I don't blame it on the kids. I blame it on the parents. You really sit, I, there, you sit there and think about it. Back in the day, we got our ass busted we did something wrong. Nowadays, you can't even hit your kids before yeah. somebody... They turn around and sue you if you try to bust their butt. No doubt about it. And, and, and you like, know, what the heck? You sit there and think about the day when we got our ass busted. We didn't have half the crimes we have these days. You are so 100% right, my brother, because we weren't worried about the damn law and everything back in the day. We were worried about coming back to mom or dad or whatever because uh-huh. they would put a world of fucking hurt on us and everything else. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I remember my dad one time, I was 13 years old, and I talked back to the nun in school and everything else. She like, she took a damn paddle, smacked my hand a couple times, right? But I knew that wasn't nothing compared to what the hell my dad was going to do to me when I when came home. home. It's just, we had to go to school. The principal was able to whoop your butt in the day. Yep, yep. And then they and, had another ass whooping. When I was growing up, you know, and whoever my mom was with, if my mom didn't beat our ass, most of the time she did. And uh, as soon as dad got home, he busted our ass again. Yeah, we, we, we got the double whooping. We got the damn double whooping. And listen, people, let me tell you, back in the day, our parents, it wasn't with the hand. They Whatever the fuck they can grab. If they uh, a coat hanger, a fucking uh, hose thing or whatever, Belts. shit. Belts, Cat and nine tails. Hose drilled in them. It was, uh, mom was always, her favorite was, you go pick you a switch. And if you don't pick the right one, you're going to go get another one after I break it on you. Yeah, hey, Roy, why don't you tell a lot, a lot of these young people that might be end up watching this and everything else, tell them what a switch was. Because I know what it is, you know what it is, but a lot of these young people have no fucking clue what it is. Oh, no, it was a, tr- uh, a little uh, branch off of a tree, and you had to go cut it off, clean it, and bring it to your mom, and she bust your ass with it. It broke in one swing, you had to go get another one. And over and over, until she, if you did it too many times, she get pissed, she went and got one and beat your ass with it. Hell yeah, hell yeah, and and you know you know my brother, um, as we were coming up and everything else, one thing that we do have way over the society that is now, we actually have respect for people. Oh What's yeah, going on now? I mean, the kids just their mouth. They just think that they can just fly off at the mouth at the parents and whatever the case may be, and there's no ramifications because they got the stupid DCFS or whatever the fuck that you want to call it and everything. That you know, parents nowadays basically. With all these fucking laws and everything else, they're taking away the power of the parents. And then they wonder why you got the kids fucking up and doing all the shit that they're doing. Because they took away the power of parenting. Yep. But I I always told my kids when they were coming up, I said, listen, you can go ahead, make that damn call. But you better pray that that DCFS get their happy asses over here before I get done fucking whooping your ass. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the whole thing. Parents are scared nowadays. But we have workers for Bubba, and as he, they said, as long as you don't make them, um, leave a mark on them, you can beat their ass all you want, just can't leave a mark. They can go out and call, but there's no proof. Right, 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 right. And, uh, well, but parents have so heard of people, of kids suing their parents all the time, the per- parents got is pretty much scared of it. Exactly, exactly. Well, like, like I said, though, I mean, but, but look at the ramifications over time, what has happened now. I mean, now, I mean, I've seen many times kids 14, 15, 16 years old talking back to mom or dad or whatever the case may be, and I'm just shaking my head like, man, back in my day, uh, I would have had a whole heap of fucking hurt and everything oh, else. Yeah. I remember when Grandpa used to beat the heck out of us when we backed off mom or oh, dad. Yeah. I mean, that's the one person you didn't want. It was your grandpa that didn't step in. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And you know what? I, I, I'll give you a quick story, my brother, is that my father, God rest his soul, when, when my kids were coming up and everything, he always told me, he says, why don't you be more tougher with them and everything else? What is wrong with you and everything? I said, Dad, 
listen, you were to the extreme because my old man was from World War II vet yep. and everything. So they did not believe in no nonsense. I mean, the generation that was before both you and I was a hell of a lot tougher. You know, they look at guys like me and you as, oh, well, you know, they're, they're a little more strict and everything else. I'm like, you have no damn clue. Where the hell do you think we learned our morals and beliefs and the way we should treat people from our parents? That shit was beaten into us. <laughs> yeah, it was. It, was, it wasn't always talked. <laughs> but, no. Uh, yeah, it just, well, these kids these days, 15, 16 years old, most of them just walk and do whatever they want. They go where they want. Parents, a lot of times, the parents don't even worry about where they're at anymore. Then, yep. you got, now you got people, kids getting kidnapped and everything else. And, yep. Uh, and it, it's just, well, if parents were more strict, they wouldn't be that much people getting kidnapped anymore. And did you also see that, that, I don't know if you've noticed it over time, is that a lot of parents make excuses for their kids instead of just calling it out like it is. Back in our day, you know, if I did something wrong or whatever the case may be, my dad or mom would not turn around and be like, well, you know, your son did this, your son did that. I would get my ass beat first, and then they would ask questions later. Nowadays, it's more or less, you know, well, Johnny... You know, he did this because your son did this and everything else. They don't hold the children accountable. And nope. what's happening and what's happening now, these young youth coming up and everything else, what? They're lazy. I'm sorry, but it's a lazy generation. I always tell my son, Kyle, your generation is the lost generation. Why? Because Ain't of society. Work ethics. Yeah, no work ethics. I mean, God forbid just... you tell me, hey, go cut the fucking lawn, go take out the garbage, go uh, clean your room. They're like, what? And I'm not going to get nothing for this. Yeah, you got a roof over your fucking head. That's what you're fucking uh -huh. getting. Be uh, happy that you got that. I, it was the other day because the state's paying me to clean up Tanya's room mm -hmm. four days a week. But right. Zubba comes in here and goes, well, you get, you, so what's supposed to make your job easy? I go, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I get paid to clean your mom's room. You still have chores. You get your ass in there and do them. <laughs> exactly. No, I agree 100%. And but like I said, I mean, uh, even up on this YouTube people, I knew, you know, we both know a lot of the people that have young kids and everything else or whatever the case may be. And a lot of them, they're not working or whatever the case may be. And I'm sitting there like, man, when I was coming up, hell no. And, uh, and it's the same way with my kids. Or whatever. Oh, yeah. I, I made sure I didn't give a shit. They were 14. I said, get your happy ass up. Go get a paper route and everything at four o'clock in the morning. Go deliver the fucking paper. Then go to school. Come home, do your chores and then uh, eat and then go to fucking bed. None of all this damn video game playing and all this other shit and whatever the case may be. Well, I, I, I look I at think that. that's the biggest mistake they came out with. Let kids buy kids all these computers and phones and all that. All they do is sit there and I go, you know, we grown up, we was outside playing. We was out doing whatever. All y'all do now is sit in here, play on your phone. I mean, school is just as bad because... Half the kids can't even write these days because all they do is on the computer. Yep, everything is on the damn and computer. It's, it's, yep, you ask them, hey, what's cursive? Use the word uh, cursive with some of these kids. They're like, what is that word? What do you mean, what is that damn word? You're right, and yeah. everything else. And it's like they don't know how to do the simplest of things that My our generation, it. it was beaten into us and everything else. You had to go ahead yeah. and have certain, like, God forbid, I've always said, if the computers ever went completely down worldwide and you had to do everything by paper, this this society would be exactly. totally screwed beyond. They're, they're fucked because yeah, they're not going to know. They're not going to know. Hell no. I mean, I remember the days when we used to carry backpacks, bags, and had books and everything else in it. Now they, all they carry is a little bag with a um, computer in it. And it's like, okay. And... It's ridiculous the way the school is doing things. I mean, you got yep. it right. You got to uh, you got to learn how to do cursive. You got to uh, be able to fill out stuff. Everything they can't even fill out computer. an application now anymore, my brother. No. They can't even do a damn application. They want it auto filled. Did you ever see that up on the shit where it says you want to auto fill shit? So every time you fill out an application, you just press a button and it fills it all in for you and yeah. everything else. And the bad thing about that. The whining about people stealing your um, identity and all that. There it is. Yeah, you're 100 percent right. You're 100 percent right. I mean, there's it, people do um, able to break into your computers and all that way before how how big the computers gotten. 
and now they want you to put all your information on the computer. Yep, <laughs> yep. I mean, it's just like, even with these cell phones and everything else, you know, one of my older sons told me, he said, Dad, do you ever notice that when you go ahead and say you're looking up something or whatever, and then after that, you get all these damn advertisements coming after you and everything else telling you that, you know, they got this. Like like I put, I'm going to become a grandpa for the first time and everything else. And now I'm getting all types of things from the algorithm of, on Facebook about shirts, everything else. I'm sitting there just like, I just put out, a message saying I'm going to be a grandpa coming and everything else. And that damn thing algorithm took it and put it across. So don't tell me that there is, they do not go ahead and spy on what the fuck we are doing out on these social medias. They are gathering information on all of us. Oh, well, yeah, they do that there. Now, and they ask for your cell phone. They they, they know wherever, wherever you go or where you're at. As long yep. as you're carrying that cell phone, it, they can tell you exactly where you went, exactly what you're doing. You know, you know the funny part about it, brother. Whenever I bring up the telephones back in the day where it was stationary and it had the cord and you had to do the, uh -huh. the dial tone and everything else, I say that to people now. They're like, what is that? I'm like, you know what? You actually had to sit down and pay attention to the person you're talking to. I mean, doesn't it drive you crazy? You could have a cell phone talking to somebody or whatever, and, and they start talking to somebody else. They start talking uh -huh. to somebody else. And you're like, are you really even interested in fucking even saying anything to me? I called you. You were talking or whatever. And it goes way to fuck, fucking left field and everything else. I think the youth of today and even the people in their 30s and 40s or whatever, their, their, their minds... Uh, they, they have been so corrupted by technology and everything else that they don't know how to go ahead and deal with society itself. I mean, trying to get people to actually sit down and, like you said, sit down, be outside, doing stuff and everything else. Society, hey, they don't know how to do it no more. I don't even see it in my neighborhood anymore. I've got kids in my neighborhood and everything. People have kids and everything. But I don't see them outside playing and everything else. And I'm sitting there like, am I imagining this type of shit and everything else, but I don't think so. I think it's these fucking video games yep. and all ever all technology. Technology, in my eyes, is really hurting society ability to interact with each other, to be able to interact. And they don't know how to deal with real life issues and everything because it's never faced to them. They just think that the computer is going to answer everything they, they need to have they, answered. They can talk to everybody all over the world on the computer. What about talking to your neighbor or find out what's going on and everything? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're gonna like they said before. Yes, the computer's big, but the word of mouth is still. You have to go out and talk to people. I said, yeah. you, know, you can't you know, get a job, and it's like my daughter was saying, uh, he, she wants a perfect job. She wants a perfect boss. I goes, well, the only issue is you got to be a perfect employee. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the, because uh, if you're not a good employee, your boss is gonna bitch at you. Sorry, that's the way it is. That's just the way it is. I mean, if you want something perfect in life, well, uh, you better go ahead and die and go up to heaven because that's yeah. the only damn way possible because there ain't nobody damn perfect in this no, damn world. No, it's not. I mean, it's you know? like I was saying. That's just, like I was telling you, the reason why, because she was talking about a $20 an hour job and all, and I'm like, you know, you could have had one at the bacon factory up there. And uh, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. everybody knows me. I work there. They're still trying to get me to go back to Iowa to go back to work there. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the thing is, I said, only reason why they like me because I did my job, I did a little extra, and I was out of everybody's way. Mm -hmm. And the ideal mm -hmm. is, you get in there and you start bitching at your workers or you, and all that, and you don't know how to um, be a, per, a people person, you ain't going to get a perfect job. No, no. And, and thinking about it this way is, see, the way we were taught and everything else coming up or whatever... Uh, we looked at it as, thank you, you gave me a job. Thank yeah. you. You give me an opportunity to make some money and take care of my family and everything else. Now, society, when people go to a job, well, they're lucky to have me. They're yeah. Listen, there's a million of you out there that yes. can do the same exact fucking thing you're doing and everything else. So get off your damn high horses, damn younger generation, everything, and understand that you are not entitled to nothing. The only thing that you're entitled to and even that you're not is waking up the next fucking day. I mean, but, you know, with the youth of America of America today, what they are failing to realize is that nothing is guaranteed to you. You yeah. want to go ahead and do it. You got to go out and take it and everything yeah. else, because there's a lot of competition, especially in a new age with all these computers and everything. There is a lot of competition out there. 
for many different types of jobs. And yep. the only thing I, I would just say, hey, youth of America, you got to wake the fuck up because these two old men right here are telling you, we're trying to tell you, wake the fuck up. Get your head out of your damn asses and understand no one owes you not a goddamn thing, period. They don't. It was like we was growing up. We was always told, you go out and you do your job. You don't do it half ass. You do it the way you would want it done. Not Don't worry about what somebody else would want it done. You do it the way you want it done. Like it was your own business, your own job and all. And then that's going to make the your place you're working at more happier. Faster you get your raises. Stuff like that. You don't go in there and just bitch about this, bitch about that. I mean, it, it just that's... <clears throat> Sorry, that you don't get a good job that way. Yeah, no, you're 100% right. And like when me and you started back in the day, our working careers and everything else, I tell people, I said, I believe it was 285 an hour for minimum wage. And mm-hmm. I tell people that, and they're like, 285. I'm like, yeah. And they were, But I did also tell them we might have been making 285, but also I can get a fucking gumball for one penny and everything uh-huh. else. I mean, the, the cost, you know, the, the money what we were making also supplemented the cost of what things are but nowadays i mean the cost of shit that is so high and everything else i mean it, like in my home state it was nice to see our governor made it to where it's minimum wage 15 dollars an hour to start and everything that's in our home state but that's not across the whole united states no. but Every state i mean is different it is different they go by a different cost of living and everything else and i i still think that's bullshit i think it should be universal across the whole united states because it doesn't make my state any different than any, any other state okay. or whatever the case may be and because you know damn well like these fast foods and everything else i mean it's amazing my brother when i tell you i go in my hometown and i go to the damn arby's and they got help wanted 17 dollars an hour okay to start just to go ahead and make arby sandwiches and everything and they can't get nobody to work. This damn youth of America does not understand it. They got it on, but 17 bucks an hour, and you're just going to sniff at that and say, oh, I'm not working in the fast food. I'm not making somebody's food. Listen, green is fucking green. green. <laughs> All right? It's like I was trying to tell Bubba. He goes, yeah, no, you, if you go get a job, that's the only job you can get. You work it. You don't quit it until you have another job to take its place. Because otherwise, it's just- Finally. It's just quitting your job and then trying to find another job. Excuse me, ain't nobody gonna pay you um, bills and your uh, all your other stuff, all because you decided to quit a job and you ain't got another one to cover for it. You are so damn right, and that is so common in the people, young people of today. I'm gonna quit. I got pissed off. Fuck you. I'm out of here. I quit. Okay, next week your electric bills due, your phone bills due, your all this stuff is built. Well. You think that you're going to go ahead and write them a letter? Sorry, I cannot go ahead and pay for the next couple months because I'm looking for a job. They don't give they don't a give shit. A they, they, they want their money just like everybody else. When he, the people out there working your job, you want your money, don't you? I'm sorry. Uh, you ain't exactly. working. You ain't getting paid. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I mean, it to me, like I said, I mean, we're both older gentlemen and everything else. And you people wising up, I'm going to say it over and over again. Our generation, the baby boomers. Yep. and everything else we came from a generation that was way harder than what the hell you guys got it from us way yeah. harder trust me when i tell you the greatest generation to ever lived world war ii vets and everything else that generation trust me we came out the way we are is because they did not go ahead and wipe our ass every time we had a little fucking shit stain you guys want your asses wiped and you don't even want to do your damn own damn wiping so as yeah. i said before lunatic roy lunatic dad and everything else we're trying to go ahead and tell you facts from facts fiction from fiction you guys got it fucking made you got it made yeah they do i mean i mean look at all the people that come out across from the other um states and stuff i mean they have the government look the mexican uh, chinese and mexicans and all them they come over here they don't mm-hmm. got to pay taxes for so many years or whatever yep and all yep. and it's just like okay <laughs> well that that's another story for another day what i feel about that and i'm sure uh-huh. me, me and you may probably agree on that part too <laughs> and everything else i mean the the things that i see today i mean as i said i shake my head so many times when i just when i've seen the shit that's going on and everything else out in society and Ridiculous. like i said and i do fear i do fear the generation that is now i'm talking about from the 
into the 20s. I, and, you know, up into the, I'd say, mid-30s, early 40s. I am concerned about that generation and everything else. But, again, I'm sure probably our parents said the same thing about us. Uh, us. And they, they probably, like, hey, they got into the damn Elvis. They got in, they called it Satan music. A lot of people, we're going to get into this at another time and everything else. But we're going to even tell you the shit we went through with the type of music that we like that oh, our yeah. parents that our parents thought was devil music and that we were going to hell and no, we're not, you're not going to go to these dance halls and listen to this and do <laughs> dancing. What women wearing a certain skirt, what w- women uh, not fully dressed and everything else. What and everything else. I mean, I mean, nowadays the damn, what is, Oh, I got this whole nother subject for a whole nother no damn time. day that, that we can get into this over and over again. And I'm sure my brother Roy and dad and everything can go ahead and give you stories that would probably rock your world. And remember, you young people, you got it fucking made compared to oh, what yeah. the hell me and Roy right now, have they're, went through as kids. They're pretty much giving everything handed to them nowadays. Oh, yes, man, man, brother. <laughs> You ain't lying about that. I mean, I, it's so good to talk with somebody and do this and everything with somebody that's cl- my age and everything else that we can actually, uh, let's say, educate the damn people, people to go ahead and tell you. On, I mean. Yeah, and how easy you've got it now. Man, if I had it this easy, the way these kids got it now, man, I'd be loving life. I'd be loving life. Instead, the damn youth is crying and bitching and moaning, man, wah, wah, wah. Get a fucking is, pacifier. You got to really think about that one, though. If you had it that easy and all, you got to really think about that. Would you enjoy what you actually had, but that you had to work for? Yeah, yeah. You really you're, build up. I mean, you're right. Drilling in my son right now. He's, nah, man. Yeah, I can go out and buy you a car. Go, now, you need to get you a job. Buy it. You're going to enjoy it a lot more because it's something you work hard to get yeah Instead you're right somebody handed it to you because when you hand, get stuff handed to you all the time you can care less if it breaks down or whatever you're going to take more of it when you got to pay it for yourself and you won't even take care of it the way you normally would because it was like well fuck i didn't spend on this it was given to me so yeah if it fucks up or whatever the case yeah. may be whatever it doesn't matter and everything but like i said i mean and I wasn't giving shit by my parents. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. They told me, hey, you're old enough, 10 years old, get your happy ass out there and have a paper route. And people, trust me, dad himself, waking up. When I said that earlier in this, in this uh, record and everything else, I said 4 o'clock in the morning, this old fuck was out there delivering papers to all my neighbors and their kids and everything. And I wasn't the only one. You know, well, it, no. that's up, the way the whole neighborhood was. Before we got to the store to go out and feed the cattle and the horses and everything. And then I uh, had to come home, take a bath, get ready to go to school, come back home and do it all over again. I mean, that's. <laughs> yeah. And now these kids, they got with the schools and everything else. They get they got these fucking uh, with all these buses picking them up. I didn't have school buses, by the way. I had to walk four fucking blocks to just get to school and everything else. So, you know. The way they make it now, the schools, they, they come and pick them up right at by their near their home. They all meet up and go on a bus and everything. I'm like, if you guys are having a problem with attendance at school, it's because you don't want us to go to school and you're fucking lazy and your generation is weak. And until you start listening to these two old motherfuckers right here, you guys will continue to be weak because you got to go ahead and understand life owes you shit. We owe you nothing. Oh, it's like, it's like nothing. Nothing. One of the schools, we had Bubba going to in Minnesota. Uh, the principal told them that the only time that y'all will miss school, we will not have school, is I don't make it. He drives a tractor to school. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go, brother. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And when people start realizing there's cool dudes, it's okay to go ahead and actually be cool and old because that's what me and Roy are. We're cool. We're old. Yeah. We're knowledgeable. And we kick your asses from head to fucking toe. Thank you very much. We're coming to Lunatic Dad, Lunatic Roy Show. Give me out yeah!